Today's topic is about stroke, its symptoms, causes, prevention and treatment. When blood supply to any part of the brain is cut off, whether this state is temporary or permanent is called stroke. When the blood supply is cut off to any part of the body, that part will start to die. Similarly, brain st uh, cells will start to die in the absence of blood supply to the part of the brain. For example, if the blood supply is cut off to someone's foot due to the position they have been sitting in for a while. If it happened to you, you must know the feeling. It starts with pins and needles, maybe some discoloration, but more importantly, you don't feel your foot as you normally do. And even more importantly, you are unable to use your foot to hold your weight or for walking. The brain cells start to die within a few minutes in the absence of blood supply that provide them oxygen and nutrients they need. As a result, it can cause lasting brain damage, long-term disability or even death. So what are the symptoms? Sudden weakness or numbness of the face or the body like arms, hands, legs or feet. Mouth or eye droop. Or the person is unable to speak or smile. It is also possible that the person can speak but the listener struggles to understand like slurred speech, difficulty finding words to complete the sentences, sudden blurred vision or loss of sight in one or both eyes, sudden memory loss or confusion, a sudden a severe headache, dizziness, loss of balance or coordination, or a sudden fall. Stroke is divided into two major types and these types depend upon the duration of brain cells without the blood supply. These are CVA and TIA. In CVA, the blood supply is cut off for a longer period of time, resulting in permanently damaged brain cells. However, in TIA, the blood supply is cut off for a shorter period of time, so the effects are temporary. CVA is further divided into two types, ischemic and hemorrhagic. In 85% cases, the reason for stroke is ischemic, whereas the rest of 50% cases are hemorrhagic stroke. If the blood supply to the brain is cut off due to a blockage, it's called ischemic stroke. But if it is caused by, by the bleeding in or around the brain, it's called hemorrhagic stroke. On the other hand, TIA has the same symptoms as a CVA, but in TIA, the symptoms last for a short period of time. TIA stands for tra uh, transient ischemic attack, and it is also known as mini stroke. Let's look at, these, uh, at the types of stroke their reasons and treatment with its prevention. As I mentioned before, 85% of strokes are diagnosed as ischemic strokes, so let's look at this first. Ischemic stroke happens due to the blockage in the artery that supplies blood to a specific part of the brain. There are a number of reasons for this, and number one on the list is uh, arteriosclerosis. In simple terms, narrowing of the arteries. This is not only the major cause of stroke, but also the biggest reason for heart attacks too. Arteriosclerosis is thickening or hardening of the arteries caused by a buildup uh, of plaque in the inner lining of an artery. What is plaque? Plaque is made up of deposits of fatty substances, uh, cholesterol, cellular waste products, calcium and fibrin. A plaque is formed in the arteries taking blood to your brain. The arteries become narrower and stiffer. The plaque can break down and form a clot that will flow around the body in the bloodstream. If this reaches the brain and blocks the artery by cutting down the blood supply, uh, it will cause a stroke. The main reasons for arteriosclerosis is diabetes, high cholesterol, smoking and being overweight. The other possible cause of ischemic stroke is arterial dissection. It means the lining of the artery is torn. It can happen due to an injury or even without an obvious reason. The blood will form a clot around the damaged area. If this clot causes the blockage of blood supply to the brain, it will cause a stroke. Other reason for stroke is some of the heart conditions like AF and PFO. When someone's heartbeat is irregular and faster than normal, this condition is called AF, and AF stands for arterial fibrillation. 
Due to this condition, the heart doesn't get the chance to empty properly and some of the blood is left in the heart causing, causing it to clot. If this clot travels through to the brain, it can cause a stroke. Uh, other one is PFO that stands for patent for amen or will. Patent for amen or will is a hole between the left and the right upper chambers of the heart. This hole exists in everyone before birth but um, most often closes shortly after being born. PFO is what the hole is called when it fails to close naturally after a baby uh, is born. It's sometimes referred to as a hole in the heart. If a clot is formed in the heart due to this condition, it can cause a stroke. The diagnosis of ischemic stroke is done through brain scans using CT and MRI scans and sometimes EEG and ultrasound scans. There are two main treatments for ischemic stroke. First one is thrombolysis and second one is thrombectomy. A medicine is used to break the clot in order to clear the blockage. The medicine is beneficial as early as, as after the onset of stroke symptoms, around first four and a half hours. But unfortunately, it is not suitable for all the ischemic stroke patients. They are not suitable if the stroke is mild or if there is bleeding in the brain. They had a recent brain surgery or they are using certain medications that can cause bleeding to make the matter worse. Unfortunately, stroke sufferers who are suitable for thrombectomy remain at risk of bleeding up to 40 days after getting uh, the treatment. And one in 40 cases, it can be fatal. Let's move on to hemorrhagic stroke. There are two types of hemorrhagic strokes. SAH, subarcanoid uh, hemorrhage. Uh, in this type, the bleeding occurs on the surface of the brain. Whereas in ICH, that is intracerebral hemorrhage, the bleeding takes place within the brain. In the SAH, subarcanoid hemorrhage, blood leaks out of a blood vessels on the surface of the brain and gets into the subarcanoid space that is protective layer of fluid surrounding the brain. This is a least common type of stroke and 1 in 20 strokes is SAH stroke. The main cause of SAH is aneurysm. An aneurysm is a blood vessel that has ballooned out because the walls of an aneurysm are weak. There is a possibility that it can burst with the pressure of the blood. In case they do, it will cause the bleeding into the layer of fluid around the brain. An example of an aneurysm is like a balloon. When it is inflated, the surface is stretched, making it weak and prone to burst. The treatment of aneurysm is coiling or clipping of the blood vessel. In coiling, platinum coils are inserted in the blood vessel to seal the aneurysm. Whereas in clipping, a uh, titanium clip is used to seal the aneurysm. Clipping is more invasive procedure between the two, in which a piece of skull is taken off uh, for the procedure and sealed it back when it is uh, finished. Let's look at ICH, in which the bleeding occurs within the brain. The reason for this is mainly due to cerebral uh, small vessel disease in which damage to small vessels in the brain can lead to bleeding, uh, bleeding in the brain. Hypertension is considered to be the main culprit in causing the small vessel, uh, vessel disease. Another reason for the ICH is cerebral amyloid angiopathy, in which amyloid beta peptide deposits within small to medium sized blood vessels of the brain. This damages the blood vessels making them more likely to bleed and cause a stroke. Then there is another annoying disorder of the blood vessels in the brain that can cause stroke. The types of arteriovenous malformation, as a short is called AVM. Then uh, cavernous malformation, also called cavernoma. The, blood, the normal blood vessels form a network and flow of the blood is smooth. But in AVM, the blood vessels that carry blood to and from the brain tangle to each other. It can reduce the blood flow and put pressure on these vessels, causing them to leak. Whereas 
A carinoma is a cluster of enlarged blood vessels that look like a barrack, a blackberry or a raspberry shape. The vessels are like small bubbles filled with blood. The walls of these bubbles are weak that can leak any time due to pressure of the blood. The treatment for SAH is a medication called nimidipine and obviously surgery to repair the damage in the brain. Everyone recovers from stroke differently. The effects of the stroke are unique to each individual and the main effects uh, can be on memory, movement, coordination, vision, swallowing, etc. Finally, let's look at the TIA. TIA or mini stroke is same as CVA, but symptoms last for a short period of time. The symptoms are the same as a CVA and also a major sign that you have a much higher than normal risk of having a stroke. As we age, our arteries become harder and narrower and more likely to become blocked. However, certain medical conditions and lifestyle factors can speed up this process and increase the risk of having a stroke. Health conditions that are linked to stroke are hypertension, arterial fibrillation, diabetes, and high cholesterol levels. We can prevent stroke by adopting um, healthy lifestyle, uh, healthy eating, moving around or exercising, uh, quit smoking, and good weight management. All strokes are different. For some people, the effects may be relatively minor and may not last long. Others may be left with more serious problems that make them dependent on other people. Unfortunately, some strokes can be very serious and some may lead to a coma or sudden death. That's why it's so important to be able to recognize the symptom and get medical help as quickly as possible. The example of time in getting a help is like an object on fire. Quickly we put out the fire, the more we can save that object. Stroke strikes every five minutes in the UK. It can happen to anyone of any age at any time. It's vital to know how to spot the signs of a stroke. Dial emergency help number without wasting any time as time is very important to save the patient. In the UK, it is 999, whereas in the US, it is 911. You can check the emergency help contact number in the country you live. For more information on parts of the brain mentioned in this session, please watch my video on this topic. The link is in the description. If you found today's topic useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.